Don't rush through it. Don't pin them to the ground. Just whack away. All you are doing there is, I said old, ha <laughs> ha. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and I've got Clay. We're ready for his next video. If you have a new puppy, this is something that you need to be incorporating into your routine. Now, even if you don't have a new puppy, you're just interested in learning how to trim nails, I would also recommend that you're doing this on the weekly. When we do our training videos, we typically say this is the first time that the dog has ever done this and we're trying to show you real time what this is looking like and how we work through it. Well, with him specifically, he's a puppy from our program. So he's actually had his nails trimmed every single week since the day he was born. This is not new to him, but we're gonna show you what a nail trimming session looks like. A couple things that you're going to need. One of which, a nail trimmer. We utilize Safari branded nail trimmers and I use the small one. Um, a lot of people think I've got a big dog, I need the bigger nail clipper. And I've found that you have a lot more control and it's a lot easier to trim nails with a small nail clipper. So these um, that we recommend are available on our store, standingstonesupply.com, like most of the things that we use. The next is going to be a nail grinder. We do a little bit of both. Now with little bitty puppies, there's not always a ton that you're gonna be able to trim, but you will be able to do a little bit of grinding each week. And the grinding, in fact, simulates um, excuse me, simulates digging. And that digging is going to help wear the nails down. And as the nails wear down, the quick or the blood supply inside the nail will recede, which allows you to keep short nails. I'm sure you have probably seen a dog or maybe even struggling it with, with it yourself that has a, hey, that's the microphone. Um, you've seen a dog that has nails that are too long. And that's usually due to not trimming them short enough and not doing any grinding. So to get started, I've got a sweet little puppy, okay? Um, some of your puppies aren't going to be quite as good at this as he, I'm assuming, will continue to be, but prepare yourself to take the time to help your dog through this. You need to make sure that this is not a, I need to trim nails quick, but in fact, I've set aside an hour to make sure that we can do this properly, teach him how we expect him to behave during this process, and ultimately develop a dog that loves getting its nails trimmed through its entire life. So, nail trimmers. We're going to utilize the side of the nail trimmer here to kind of scrape the underside of his nail. Um, this is going to expose a little bit here as well as show us um, where there will be a little catch point. Um, let me see if you can see, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but there is a um, a little bit of a catch point there and that's gonna show you where in fact you should trim them. We hear often, ah, oh, my dog has black nails, I don't know where to trim them, I can't see the quick. Uh, I actually prefer black nails because it prevents us from trying to use our eyes to go, oh, that looks about like the quick there and then cut short of that. In fact, you are finding the actual point and where they need to be trimmed. That little bit of scraping goes um, a long way with opening the underside of the nail too. Um, typically the, the nail can grow together underneath, which is also going to prevent the quick from being able to wear and then aids in the growth of longer nails and longer quicks. So a little bit of scraping, we're gonna find that little catch point there and there's not very much that needs to be trimmed off. When you make your cut, you do not wanna make the cut angled. Settle down, we're gonna take a second anytime he gets amped up here or tries to struggle away. And then after I explain this, I'm gonna move relatively quickly because he can only relax for so long. He can only behave for so long. If we make this take too long with me yabbering on, um, it's gonna be harder for him. But you want your nail um, trim to be uh, not angled toward the dog or up the dog's leg. You want it to be slightly um, angled away, which is gonna prevent you from quicking. Now we'll roll into this next one, same scraping process, a little trim, same scraping process here, a little trim, very little to come off of these nails here. And that's because we're keeping up on this every single week. All right, now 
Um, we've got basically perfect trims on all of these. And that very first one, I was right at the quick. We have just a barely spot of blood. Now, somebody trolled not too long ago and said, a good groomer will never draw blood. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you draw just the tiniest faint bit of blood, that is meaning that you are hitting and exposing the very end of the quick, which is going to allow it to recede. We don't wanna go anywhere beyond that because it is fairly uncomfortable. But right where we're at there, you didn't see any reaction out of the puppy. It's, it's fine. That is the edge of where you need to be. Let's move on to the next here. Same scraping, little trim, same scraping here, and another little trim. He's trying to use his mouth a little bit and say, I don't want you to do that anymore. We're do just a small correction, no, and then go back to what we were doing here. He's not liking that little bit of scraping where it hooks. That is what he's reacted to each time. So we're gonna be just a little more gentle but not let him get out of it. And this is gonna be key for you. If your puppy is struggling, take the time, make sure that they're settled down for each nail as you're trimming. Don't rush through it, don't pin them to the ground, just whack away. All you are doing there is, I said old, <laughs> all you're doing there is developing that is going to be nail trims for life, not what we're looking for. One more little trim there, these look pretty good. Now we'll go on to the back ones. The back nails don't grow exactly the same. Typically there's going to be less to trim off the back nails. You can do a similar scraping process, but it doesn't work exactly the same as it does on the front. Trim a little bit and rely on your grinder more on the back side there. Now, as a puppy gets older, you can do a little more shaping when there's more nail to be had. When you have more nail available, you can actually trim each side a little bit and then you can trim the top and then the other side, kind of cutting around the actual quick. Now, when your puppy gets older, it's going to actually have more nail there to trim. You can trim the side and then the top and then the other side, allowing you to kind of shape and trim around the quick. You'll, you'll see the, uh, the quick actually exposed. These quicks here are teeny tiny, so there's not much to actually do at this point. When your dog gets older, there definitely will be. And we have several different videos. You can check the links out here. They're gonna show you an in complete in-depth. Uh, we did one video, I think, specifically showing 10 different dogs getting their nails trimmed from young dog all the way through old adult dog. So you get to see a variety of how each dog uh, responded differently and um, in several of these different videos, we show different methods of trimming. Some dogs do really well laying on their back. Some dogs do better standing up. Um, it all kind of depends on personal preference as well as the dog's preference. Now, all of these nails are trimmed. We're going to go ahead and use the grinder. We don't have, um, this is kind of a funny thing. This is a Dremel uh, 8050. This is a model that is discontinued. I wish they hadn't discontinued it because it's really good, but that is the one that I'm still using. Um, they do make, and it's more from a commercial standpoint, it holds up to day in and day out, trimming and grinding nails. There are Dremel pet branded versions that would work fine for you if you only have one or two dogs. And um, then I have a diamond bit that we're trying out. I will tell you more about this in a future video. We are, we are currently, just evaluating if it's something we wanna to recommend to you. But we're gonna go ahead and turn our grinder on and we'll just touch the nails. We don't wanna leave it on there. It can be hot, it can be uncomfortable. We just wanna do just a little bit of shaping and take just the bare ends off because we've already done most of the work trimming. When you trim a square nail, a lot of times what can happen is you leave a sharp edge. So we can take those sharp edges off and simulate that digging just a little bit, which is gonna help ultimately our quicks recede. Front ones are done. On to the back ones here. He 
You can see each time I'm just touch, 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 only leaving the grinder there for a short period of time. And that's it, okay? Um, he made this look really easy. There were only a few times that he kind of got a little whiny or struggled just a little bit. And this is the time, folks, that you finish your nail trimming session with a love session. Keep them in this position. Um, pet, love on, a lot of little puppies like he's doing right now can get into the zone of just falling asleep. You want this to be special. You want this to be something that the dogs can look forward to and enjoy. And I don't know very many dogs that don't love their ears scratched and their bellies rubbed. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Clay. Thanks for watching and we will see you in his next video.